Du war heilig im Lied Terror. There is no one like you. Halleluja, halle, 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 halleluja. Father, you are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Halle, 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 halleluja. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most I go. King of kings, you are the most I. You are Jehovah, you are the most I go. Lord of us, you are the most I. Jehovah, you are the most I go. Riba mandor brahakim mando shakando ribo korakim mando ribo brahakando shikamar brahakanda. Rima mando ribo kori ribo kori ribo kori ribo tika mando shaka mando ribo kori ribo mando ribo kori haka mando shika mando kori haka. Rama mando ribo kori ribo kori ribo kori ribo kori mando shaka mando ribo kori ribo kori ribo kori haka mando shika mando kori kondo. Rika mando ribo kori haka mando shika mando kori kondo ribo kori haki mando shika mando rakinda. Raka mando ribo raki mando ribo kori haka mando ribo kori haka mando shaka mando kori haka mando ribo kori hika mando shika mando. Rakando ori morokor hakim mando ori morokor hakam mando shika morokor hakanda ori morokor hakim mando. Rekanda ori morokor hakim mando shando ori morokor hakem mando ori morokor hakanda. Rekam mando ori morokor hakim mando shakanda ori morokor hakim mando ori morokor hakam mando shika mando ori morokor hakanda. Oh Father Lord, I want to thank you. I want to bless your name for all the previous spiritual breakfast, and I want to thank you for all the miracles and some wonders you performed in our lives. And Father, I commit to this spiritual breakfast into your hands, and I ask that, Lord God Almighty, you will arise in your mercy and compassion and deliver us and heal us in the mighty name of Jesus. And I return all the glory, all the honor, all the worship, and in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And amen. And once again, I welcome you to spiritual breakfast. We program that usher you into your daily blessings. We usher us into your daily blessings. And I want to thank God for what He's going to do in your life today. And we are still on the topic, Let There Be Light, and we are 172 brokers of Let There Be Light. And our text is taken from Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, and it reads, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. I, in the name that's above every the name of Jesus, I declare and I command and prophesy by the mandate of heaven upon my land, the powers invested in me. Let the glory of Blessed and gracious light of God, shine upon you, shine upon your family, shine upon your marriage, shine upon your business, shine upon your children, shine upon your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Rambo Shikando Riborokora Hakanda, Rimando Riborokora Hakamundo Shikaman or Hibokora Hibokora Kimando Riborokora Kando Shikando Riborokora. Psalm 17 verse 1 says, Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. We are going to be with that verse 1. The verse 1, A part today. Tomorrow we shall be dealing with verse the part B of that verse 1, Psalm 17 verse 1. By the mandate of heaven upon land, the powers invested in the kind of command and a prophesy that the Almighty God will remember you. He will remember you and show you mercy and compassion and be gracious unto you and your family now, today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Rambo Shakanda Ribokoro Akida. Rikamando Ribokoro Akimando Shakanda Ribokoro Hikando Ribokoro Akida. But a man in the heaven of all the powers invested in me, I declare and command and prophesy that the Almighty God will arise to deliver you and your family from every bondage and captivity of the enemy. Of the enemies of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. 
God will arise in his anger and fury and wrath to deliver you completely, deliver your family completely. In the most precious and mighty name of Jesus. Please, in case you have any prayer point, there will be a prayer time for you to open your mouth and pray to God. And tell God what you need in the name of Jesus. By the command of heaven, the and the powers invested in me. I declare that I command and prophesy that the blood of Jesus, the blood that conquered Satan, the blood that overcame the devil, the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary, will speak for your deliverance this morning and destroy all the finished work of the enemy, all the ongoing works of the enemy, and all the plans of the enemy working against you. And your family and the, and the blood of Jehovah will consume them. We consume that finish with that ongoing water plants of enemy and will consume them to ashes and consume them forever and they shall be destroyed forever in the name of Jesus. And I declare I command your heavens be open in the name of Jesus. The heavens over your life up to the second heaven, I declare, I command by the mandate of heaven upon my life. And by the powers invested in me, be open. I command your heavens be open up to the third heaven. Let your heaven be open up to the third heaven. Let there no power stand between you and your heaven. And any fire stop standing between you and heaven, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost from heaven to roast them to ashes in the name of Jesus. By the mandate of heaven upon my life, the powers invested in me. And again, I command and I prophesy that, that the precious blood of Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary will destroy all the altars, all the shrines, all the covens, all the evil ports, all the sitting ports, all the cooking ports, all the cauldron, and all the, all the power renewal ports of your enemy, and all the stronghold of your enemy, all the stronghold of power. The blood of Jesus will be. I decree and I command the blood of Jesus upon all this evil, 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 evil be the arms of darkness. And I command them be destroyed. I command them be destroyed. And I command you, I command you out of the corners of your father's house. I command your life, your destiny, your glories, all the, everything that concerns you out. I command it out of the covens of powers of darkness, out of the covens of powers of your father's house, your father, mother's house, in the name of Jesus. I declare I command the blood of Jesus to destroy all their altars, all their shrines, all their, all their evil positive work, to destroy their covens, all their evil powers, all their source of power. And I declare I command the blood that was shed on the cross of heaven, be released upon the, all their source of power, no, release upon the source of power. And I decree the source of power be roasted to ashes and destroyed forever in the name of Jesus. I want to say that all that I've spoken concerning you will become your portion. And only and only if you are the child of God. If you are not accepted Jesus as a Lord and Savior, my prayers will never work for you. My prayer will only work for you if you are a child of God. Your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. And so I want you to go ahead and confess your sins now. Go ahead and confess your sins. Go on your knees and confess your sin and ask that confess your sin and ask that God will be merciful and just and compassionate unto you and be gracious unto you to forgive you all your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. As that the blood of Jesus speak every thing that blood of Jesus will, will speak total, complete cleansing and purification. And as that the, as Jesus Christ, as that the Lord Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and Master. Then everything I've spoken will become your portion. Everything I've spoken now will be your portion. And every you will be a partaker of all that I've been decreeing and the ones that I'm about to decree right now. Go ahead and go on your knees and confess your sins. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is a time for you. If you know our shorty, you have accepted Jesus as a Lord and Savior. You are a child of God. This is time for you to make your personal prayers. 
Make your personal prayers unto God right now. I want you to talk to God with your mouth open. Talk to His eyes. He has spoken to my ears, so shall I do unto you. Open your eyes and speak into the ears of God. Tell Him what you want, what you desire, what you want Him to do for you today. Open your mouth and talk to Him right now. The Bible says, when you come to God, you know, whatever you desire, wherever you desire, when you come to God, and you are praying, believe that you receive and you shall, you shall have them. When you come to God, come to God in faith. Believe that you receive them. Come to God in faith. I will open your mouth and pray. Believe that that which you have spoken to God is already released. And that which you have spoken shall become your portion. So open your mouth and tell God what you want now. As I join myself with you in faith, that that which you have asked God will be released. Father, Lord, God Almighty, in the name of your Rainbow Shark, and Adam Hakinda. Father, I join my faith with your children and that which they have asked, O God. I decree be released unto them that which I have asked. By faith, that which they have asked in accordance to your word. By the mandate of heaven upon my land, the powers invested me, I decree, O God, I command. And I prophesy, let it be released unto them, let it be released unto them right now. Let it be released unto them right now. And Father, Lord God Almighty, let that which I have asked begin to manifest instantly in the name of Jesus. And I pray, if you are sick in your, in your body, I want you to talk, lay your right hand on your head as I decree. Father, I cause every sickness, every desire, infirmity in the life of the children. Whatever that has flicked in them, your word says in Matthew 8 17 that you took over, you took our infirmity and bore our sicknesses. That which you have taken and that which you have bore your beard in your body, they ought not to be here because that body has been taken by you. And so, Father, by the mandate of heaven upon my life, the power of in me, I cause that sickness from me to die. I cause that sickness to wither. I cause that sickness to expire. And I invoke the power of the forces that I will live upon you. And I decree them, hey, my made whole, heal and made whole from the crown of the head to the soul of the feet. By the mandate of heaven upon my life, the power has invested in me. In the name of that, I decree them completely he that made oh in Jesus' name, Amen. Father, look, by the power that the mandate of heaven upon my life, the power has invested in me. I declare my command and I prophesy that the blood of Jesus, the blood of just to cover, I prophesy that all the blood of Jesus, I command the blood just to cover. All the cover, all the enemies I go, I cover the enemies, I bleed and cover all your enemies, all the enemies of your children. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. I cover their life with the blood of Jesus. And I declare my command that the blood of Jesus will consume all the evil powers, whether individual or collective. Let the blood of Jesus consume the evil powers and consume it completely in the name of Jesus. I declare my command the wild wind of fire to consume their powers. Consume their individual powers, consume their marine powers, or cultic powers, satanic powers, marine witchcraft power, and demon power. Let the white wind of fire consume their powers and reduce you to zero in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, by the mandate of heaven and the powers invested in me, I bind all their powers. I bind the powers of all the enemies fighting your, your children, fighting your children and fighting their family. I decree all their powers be bound inside them. I decree their power be bound inside them completely. And I command that. And yes, henceforth, that power, that power, we no longer operate against your children. We no longer operate, operate against their family. And I decree your children free from the, all the manipulation of all the evil powers of their enemies in the name of Jesus. Father, by the mandate of heaven upon my land, the powers invest in me, I declare and I command. And I break all the powers of all the enemies of their life. I break their powers completely. I command their powers be broken and destroyed. And I command that they take off their ugly hands and their ugly legs out of the life of their children. Out of the life of the children, let them take off their ugly hands and ugly legs. Out of the life of the children, I declare a command by the mandate of heaven upon all the power invested. I declare a command by the name that's above every name. I declare a command by the power of powers of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree, Father, your word says, He, he that the Son has set free is free indeed. And I declare a command your children be free indeed. Let them be free. Let them be free indeed from all their captivity. And bondage of the enemy. Let them be totally and permanently free. And let their freedom last forever in the name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. This is where our program is going to end today. As you same time tomorrow, 5 a.m. Nigerian time. And I want you to go ahead and follow me up on my personal 
page, personal blog, Pastor J. E. K. Igwe, or the church page, Victory in Jesus Pentecostal Church of God, so they can be blessed and intimidated of this program in the name of Jesus. God bless you and God bless you richly. As you go out today, go in the blessing. Go in the deliverance. Go in the healing and the salvation of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go and be blessed. Go and be blessed. Go and be blessed. I decree you blessed. And every yoke that wants to speak against you, I command that you be broken and destroyed by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I command that you be broken and destroyed forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you and God bless you. I see you tomorrow, same time, 5 a.m. at your time. God bless you. In Jesus' name. You are blessed. Amen and amen and amen.